infinity. This is Kendrakar, a place with neither time nor space. In the middle of great nothingness is the great temple of congregation. Get enchanted by its beauty and come closer, but be quiet. The oracle is about to speak. The time is running short, brothers and sisters. The veil is in danger again. The guardians have to start protecting the earth once again. Who are the two and ones? Five girls, Althor. Human creatures? Magical creatures, Luba. Nature is their friend, earth their mother, and the forces of nature their allies. Air, water, earth, fire. And her will. 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 Whoa! Wake up, Will. Did you have a bad dream, honey? It was horrible. There was this terrible storm. Looks like it's raining cats and dogs just about everywhere. And the horrible weather continues in the whole country. On the Is this Heather Field? I'll admit, this doesn't make a great first impression, but I'm sure it'll look better tomorrow. My school starts tomorrow, Mom. So, the day after? I knew she would arrive, Vathic. She hates this town, but she'll be okay. Yes, old friend. I'm sure that that girl and I will get along very well. Destroying her will be a great pleasure. <laughs> It's a new day in Heatherfield. The sun is shining brightly, pushing the last grey clouds away. Everything is perfect. Well, almost everything. Stupid alarm clock! I'm sure the teacher's first words will be, Bad start, Miss Fandom. And what now? How on earth am I supposed to find the right classroom? Do you need some help? <laughs> Yesterday, I was as confused as you. I'm new, too. My name is Terani. Nice to meet you. I'm Will. Would you please explain why you're still in the hall, ladies? She's the principal, Mrs. Knickerbocker. Lessons have already begun, Miss Cook. Straight to class. And as for you... My name is Will Vandom, and I think I'm lost. Off to a bad start, Miss Vandom. Ah, better late than never, Miss Cook. You know, I like this class, especially when I'm giving a test. A test? But yesterday you said we'd do the exercises with the class. You should already know that we history teachers tend to be a little evil sometimes. I thought that was just the math teachers. No, they are just cruel. It's a totally different thing. What's the matter, Irma? Doesn't your magic work anymore? What are you talking about, Helen? About your little school spell, of course. School spell? What's that? She didn't say anything. She's just opening her mouth to keep herself warm. Mm. Ah! What's going on over there? Professor Collins, Halen bit me. Wonderful, Irma. You are raising your hand. I was wondering who would like to answer the first question. But, but, I, I, I didn't. <sighs> Watch and be amazed, Ronnie. First, she gets mad. Then falls into desperation. Be quiet. I haven't studied at all. The Stone Age is the only thing I know about. Then she closes her eyes, crosses her hands. Think about the Stone Age as anything. Please, 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 please. And if it actually is the only thing she knows about, the teacher always asks about it. Like, I don't know how she does it, but it works every time. Hmm, let's see. Irma, tell us something about the Stone Age. Bingo! Ha, I can't believe it. You did it again. It's supposed to be a secret, you know. You're not supposed to tell everyone. What can't she tell us? Cornelia! Cornelia! Guess what Irma did today? She controlled the quiz again! Controlling quizzes? She thinks she's a big shot, but she's just a beginner. If she knew what I can do... Bye! Who is that? Tarani, one of the new students. The other one is in the same class with you and Elion, right? Yeah, I think her name's Well. Ask Elion. She always has all the news. Hi, girls. Look at me, Elion. 
Oh, I've seen that face before. Me too. I think it was in a documentary about the Easter Island. Oh, no, 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 Cornelia. I recognized a flunked look when I see one. And in this case, it's a big, fat, hairy F. All right, already. I got a bad grade in math. Satisfied? Of course I am. Do you know what this means? Punishment! Oh, come on. You could look the other way just this one time. The law is the law, Elion. You know the rules of our group. Mm, for a really terrible grade, we need something really nasty. Hmm. It's strange, though. I thought math in Mathics was your favorite subject. Leave math out of this. Of course, that. He'll be your punishment. You'll have to ask him to study math with you. Begging and pleading. Don't be unreasonable, Arma. Either she begs or pleads. She should beg. I did say it first. What about if we make her beg pleadingly? That's ridiculous. No, it's a compromise. Good luck, Elion. What's going on over there? Did you do this? <laughs> Maybe. Looks like somebody's gonna be walking home today. Real funny. Isn't it? You're the new blood, right? Could you go away, Uriah? Is my bike in that mess too, champ? Nah. Ice Queen is here. Let's move, guys. You just met Uriah and his gang. What a pleasure. Don't worry. Not every guy in here is like him. You'll see at tonight's Halloween party. The party? The party. I forgot, forgot all about, about it. it. You must be Tarani. My name is Cornelia. Nice to meet you. The party is in the gym hall at 8pm. I'm sure this night will be fun. After all I've been through, I would love to forget this day as quickly as possible. It's going to be a costume party, and the best costume will be rewarded. I'll keep that in mind. See you in the evening, then. I don't know, Cornelia. I really don't feel like partying. You'll get better memories from the party. See ya. Well, <sighs> our fun ended quickly. Nope. The fun is just about to start, boys. Come with me. Be sure that nobody sees us. The coast is clear, Uriah. So, lads, what do you think? Sina rockets? What for? I took them from my old man's boat. These are emergency flares. The school may be taking care of the music and the eats at tonight's party, but me, I'll be setting up the fireworks display. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm coming to the party. I'm tired and I promise to help my mom too. If you're not going, then I'm not going either. Let's see what mom thinks of this. Wow, a oh, mobile phone. Yep, it's my babysitter. Hi, Mom. Listen, there's a party in the school tonight and... Wait, let me finish. But... But... Okay, see you. Mmm, she won't let you. Yes, she will. Aren't you happy? Doesn't it seem like it? Rita. No, Irma, don't be so curious. You'll see it in the evening. I have designed my costume all by myself. Everyone will pay attention to it. No, there's nothing to be laughed at. It's going to be great. You'll see then. My costume is very unique and very, very witch-like. Mm. Huh. And Brenna will help me sew it, right? Of course. I wonder what Halen's come up with this time. I can't wait. Meanwhile, I have no idea what to wear like always. I think I'd like something a little darker, more creepy to suit the occasion. Something that reflects my mood. I think Halen's right. Something weird is happening to me. I did manage to control the teacher's thoughts again today. Maybe I should talk to the others about it. Or maybe not. Maybe I should tell them what I can do with water. Amazing, magical things. Irma! Are you going to be in there for a long time? You've already been there for an, almost an hour! Just a minute! Come on, evaporate! I don't want my dad seeing this mess! Irma! This is my last warning! My patience is running short! I'm almost ready! <laughs> Irma! Coming! You almost made me break down the door. You know that I can do it. Oh yeah? What law would make you do that? 
It's not exactly a crime to bathe for two hours. Phew! An old person would look like a raisin by now. But no, our lady could spend all afternoon in the bathtub as if nothing had happened. I know my rights, Officer Dad, sir. Irma! The bathroom floor is flooding! I'll only speak in the presence of my lawyer. Hmm. Ugh. It's not exactly easy to be 13. I envy you, Lettuce. I wish I could have a shell. Same outfit every day for your entire life. But I always have to choose. Why is this so difficult every time? A beautiful dark blue dress. Is that too much to ask for? Huh? <gasps> the rain has stopped. I have to go. I have stayed far too long already. How are you going to dress? Beautiful or ugly? I always dress ugly. I think I'll try something new. <laughs> I'll pick you up half past six. With what? Your bike? With a car. My mom will take us to school. See you soon. I think I was too hasty. Maybe an elegant costume is not a good idea. I'm more comfortable in sweatpants. Maybe they sell formal jogging suits somewhere. A nice jogging suit would solve my problem. What? I must be seeing things. Is that her? Definitely. Put on your best clothes, Vathic. We're going out tonight. Elsewhere. Forget the whole thing, young lady. You aren't going anywhere tonight. At least not until you've cleaned your room. Mom, I'll do it tomorrow. What prevents you from doing it now? My hereditary tendency to not obey threatening. Do what you want, Cornelia. You're the one losing here. How nice. Tonight's going to be a family evening. Be quiet, you frog. Why can't my room clean itself? What? Stupid door, what in air is this happening here? Oh. I got this done just by thinking. Irma's school telepathy is nothing compared to my skills. In school, I control everything with my willpower. And now, this. I wonder what else I can do. Cornelia, where do you think you're going? What does it look like? To the party, of course. I cleaned already. Cornelia, that had better be true, otherwise. <laughs> Bye, Paul. Bye? <laughs> Did I miss something? The school's gym at nine. Great party and a great dress, Halen. Thank you. Yours isn't bad either. <laughs> Who designs your clothes, Alien? Bon appetit. From the looks of your booty, I'd say that you all like the buffet. <laughs> We're just Simon food for winner, Principal. Another wasted hibernating. Excellent. Which, at midnight, you won't laugh anymore. Half past ten? Well, it's super late, and we have to pick up your friend. So what? I don't even want to go. You're the one demanding this. I don't even have anything to wear. I have all the curves of a broomstick. And... And... That's... Well... That's not me. Well? Ah! Stay away! Don't come in! Why aren't you dressed yet? Aren't you wearing the black one? That used to be your favorite. The only black thing that suits me is a garbage bag. What are you talking about? What's wrong? I, I look horrible. You're a very special person who's going to meet very special friends at the party. Look at yourself, Will. You have to love yourself. That's the only way people can appreciate how special you are. Now, let's get going. The party won't last forever. Bye-bye. Have a great time. Hey, Tarani, take good care of my Will. Put a little fire into her. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can, but I try. It's not too late, Tarani. Let's get out of here as soon as we can. I don't think we can anymore. Here they are. Hi. Cornelia. Two hours late. Just like movie stars. It's all my fault. It, it started rain and... 
Did you hear, Irma? You could teach them better excuses. She came late too, and guess what she told us? Haha, <laughs> very funny. All my clothes transformed and changed color. <laughs> it's the truth. If you don't believe that, that's your problem. I believe you. You know what? I'm not telling you anything anymore. <laughs> A photo of beauties. Sure. Everyone say Halloween. <laughs>